Hello everyone! Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing a very fantastic book. This is My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. And I'm just going to start out by telling you that I have nothing bad to say about this book other than I didn't want it to end and it ended. Like, there's nothing bad I can possibly say about this book. Um, so basically I'm going to start off with like why I picked it up. I was really in the mood for a contemporary romance novel because I've been reading a lot of like my the City of Bones like Mortal Instruments series. I've been reading a lot of those and really wanted something a little bit different with more of like a love story behind it. And I picked this up because first of all, like the cover was gorgeous. It's a very pretty um, scene. It says a, a boy, a secret, a summer, and it's very pretty. It's like a a fence with like a bunch of trees and then the guy was really attractive and the girl was pretty and it said my life next door and it was just really cute and then I looked at the inside and it was yellow and I was like this book is just cute so I read the, the summary on the inside like part of it and I was instantly attracted to this book I really really wanted to read it just by the looks of it and let me tell you this book was incredible so basically this was a debut novel by this author. This author never read a book before. And for never writing a book before, this author did an incredible job. I loved it. The entire time I was reading it, I was like, I wish I could talk to this author and she could tell me everything she thought about it, why she wrote things the way she did, like every little detail I wanted to discuss with the author because this book was literally the best contemporary romance novel I had read in a long time. For young adults and all that nonsense so basically the main character samantha is a 17 year old girl a very average 17 year old girl except she lives in this kind of very prim very proper everything's put in their place house with like her mom who's extremely strict and her older sister who's kind of a little rebellious and wild and at the same time um has got her own life going on so she's not very around very much but her mom is a politician and she's so obsessed with how everyone sees their family and sees them so she is always concerned about how samantha is spending her time how um she's doing in every little aspect of her life very controlling very ocd you know very very crazy mom and samantha's always had that life she's that's always she's been used to she doesn't have a dad her dad walked out on them when they were younger and so her mom has been trying to like, you know, raise the family the best she can, but she's kind of crazy. I didn't like the mom at all during the story, even though I did feel bad for her. But, um, well, the story basically starts off with when they were younger, the family moved in next door to them, the Garretts, who are the complete opposite end of the spectrum than Samantha's family. The Garretts are loud, obnoxious, messy, crazy really dysfunctional not organized there's christmas lights up at the wrong time of the year there's you know toys everywhere the screaming children it's crazy it's not what samantha ever had her life to be so she wasn't used to it but she was very intrigued so she would go out onto her um onto her balcony out of her out of her bedroom and just watch them for hours every night and the story basically starts taking off when one of the Garrett's, Jace, who happens to be her age or around her age, comes up, climbs up the trellis and into her balcony and like confronts her and talks to her and they and they begin this adorable, cute, wonderful romance that any girl would envy because Jace is the type of boy every girl wants. He is really attractive, he's smart, he's strong, he loves his family. Um, he's handy, sensitive, romantic, sweet, you know, he's so nice and just really caring and I think that's part of the reason she was so attracted to him and, and I, I have to admit, like, I have a terrible habit of falling in love with people in books and like fictional characters and things and you fall along, fall in love along with Samantha, with Jace because it's just written so well. Each character in this book is written incredibly well. Like, she did a fantastic job. They weren't all flat, um, mirror characters. They were very dynamic, wonderful, 
you know, they all showed every aspect of their life from the little brothers to the mom. Everyone had their own personalities and, you know, ways of living and things. And you got to see all that throughout the book. And the secret in this book blew my mind. I did not expect that to be a secret that would even occur. I figured it was something really stupid and like childish because you know, that's normally how young adult authors write problems. Like it's really, you know, over dramatic. But this was a fantastic way to make the story more exciting and interesting. And the whole inner turmoil that Samantha had made the book incredible. And I think that Everyone should read this book if you've ever been in love, if you've ever, if you're a hopeless romantic like me, if you want something cute, which isn't, and it wasn't like, you know how some books are too easy to read? It wasn't way like that. It was, I think, perfect, really good, like, lighthearted, but also with that kind of like, oh, there's a huge secret that there's a problem that they have to work through, and their romance is incredible. I love it. I recommend this book to everyone. I definitely give it five out of five stars. And it's just it's just a great book. And I did not want it to end. So if I want to like send her an email and be like, write a sequel, but I don't know what she could write about because like, you know the story just kind of like ended. But I really I just I just love this book and I did not want it to end. And I definitely think you should go buy it or or read it or something in the library. But it's a great book. So yeah, thanks guys. And I'll hopefully do a review sometime soon. Alright, thanks.